Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, on this episode, we're getting back onto the camper and we're gonna be mounting the shower tent. But we're not just gonna be mounting it, we're gonna be making a swing away. So I've picked up this shower tent from Hardcore. Uh, this isn't sponsored, but I really like their products. It, I haven't even opened it, but I use one of their solar panels and their service is awesome. Once you purchase it, it turns up in like a couple of days. So yeah, I really recommend checking them out. Anyway, I'm going to start chopping up some aluminium. We're going to start fabricating uh, how this is all going to hopefully go together. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the plan is, is I'm going to have this is going to be my main frame, which is going to bolt onto the camper with some brackets uh, going back to the rack, which we'll sort out later. But the idea is to have this, and then I'm gonna have another tube, which will be inside, which will be hinged at one edge, and then a pressure latch at one end, one edge, and then it'll swing out away from there. So anyway, I'm gonna get these cut to length. I'll start making the pivot point, and then we can uh, put it all together. So I've got parts which will make up my uh, hinge. Now, this is a machined um, alloy, so it's a little bit harder. Really bad to weld, but um, it's gonna be nice and strong in the center. This one here is just mill, and this would be my headset, so this is how it's gonna go. So what I'm doing is I'm using a bike headset, which will seat into the bearing and then that'll sit straight into the cup and then this here will bolt in from the side and we'll hinge off that so that slips on this one slips in and then we have a nice hinge nice and smooth and nice and strong
So at the hinge end, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a nice little sort of cover plate at the end here that will sort of be nice and tight, not too tight, but it'll sort of close up this gap along here and I'll weld that into place. This will still be removable. And then I'll work onto the other end with a latch. And then what I need to do is I need to take this out. I need to route a lot of the back out of this and I'm gonna mount a gas strut. So when this opens up, the gas strut's gonna automatically push the shower out as well. So anyway, let's start fabricating the ends of these and get that done. Now it's time to install the pressure latch. So it's gonna go around about here. So we're gonna cut that out, put it in, and I'll probably have to cut the backside as well just to allow the um, clearance for this to swing. Next step, before I go mounting the shower actually onto the rack, I want to make the brackets and I want to bolt it up to here. Um, just because I'm limited to where the bolts can actually bolt onto the, uh, the swing away bracket. And then on the shower awning, I can actually slide that and move that. So that one there's adjustable where this one won't be so much. So I'm gonna get some uh, measurements now. I'm probably gonna do one bracket here, one there, and then I'm gonna do another support right on the hinged edge. Um, just to support that most of that weight and the twist in it when the shower is fully open.
So I've made the bracket, um, I did it off camera, um, just, you know, I've made the other two, so it wasn't really any point. So uh, that's what I've done. So it's quite beefy, nice and strong. So that'll stop any uh, rocking movement. So I just have to drill some holes in it. But uh, hopefully you can see this goes up, mounted up under here. So it'll bolt onto the rack and then those plates will bolt onto this. So that should stop any um, rocking movement. So what I'll do is I'll mark those, I'll mark these other holes, drill them on, uh, drill them off, and then we can bolt that on and see if this um, really stiffens it up. Test. that is a lot stronger I mean you're not gonna hang off it but that's definitely gonna hold the shower there we go so let's just take it off now and um, paint it all up and we can uh, mount the shower onto this so I do have to drill some holes for the shower and I'll probably have to space it out just a tad as well probably only about an, well, half an inch Alright, so the paint is all dry and now it's time to reassemble it and get it back onto the camper for the final time. So let's go ahead now and assemble it. Finally, the shower is on the camper. We have it installed. And I'm gonna open it up and give you a little rundown. So first things first, nice and solid. That is not going anywhere. So that'll open up and we'll go there. The rooftop tent will clear that as well. So I've got no issues with um, it interfering with the tent when it folds out and now I'll show you how it opens up. There we go, look at that, that is perfect. Opens up nicely, 
perfect height to the ground. It does have a roof as well for this. So that's obviously if you don't want, um, if it's raining, you know, you want some protection. Uh, you can put a roof on it, but uh, I'm not gonna bother. Um, it does have a floor as well. So the floor will touch there so you don't get muddy feet when you're showering. And also I'll just give you a quick look inside. Uh, plenty of room in here. All gas strut operated. Very nicely built. Folds up nice and compact as well.